Hey, hey everybody, this is Karen McCullough and I just got back from Washington DC. My daughter, Meredith, had a baby. Yeah, this is her second baby. So they asked me if I would come and spend a couple days with Jack. Jack is their three-year-old. So I was really excited. I went to DC. I'm going to be with Jack and I decided I was going to stay about two weeks so I would help Meredith when she gets home. So the first thing that happens is Meredith calls us from the hospital. And when I went to pick up my phone, Jack wanted to make sure it was face to face. Because you see, every time Meredith and Jack call me, it's always face to face. So he thinks that the phone is kind of like a camera, right? Where it can go in and show you who you're talking to. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then in the morning, when Jack gets ready for school, if he gets ready really quickly, he gets to watch on his iPad a little movie short, about an eight minute movie. And he carries his iPad with him all around the upstairs rooms just in case I'm gonna let him watch his 10 minute short. Then it was time to take Jack to school. And as I was dropping him off, I couldn't help but notice how diverse all of his classmates were. It was every color, every shade imaginable. Whoa. And I got to thinking on the way home. You know, Jack thinks that the phone is a place where you see people like a little TV and he gets to carry around all of his media. He can watch a show wherever he goes because he carries around that little iPad. And Jack knows diversity and I bet that if Jack was in a room where everyone looked just like Jack, he might find that even a little strange. So I was thinking about grandkids and how I have to adapt and I started thinking about you. Who, me? You see, so many of us are waiting we're waiting for that workplace to change, for those millennials to change, for their grandchildren to change so that we can converse. And the reality of it is, we have to change. If we wanna have those rich relationships, if we wanna grow rich teams and cultures, we have to begin to look at ourselves and make the change. Yeah. So I'm back home now, and I miss Jack so much, but I know that he's just a FaceTime away. Thanks everybody, Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.